take a look across the tropics where we have a high chance of tropical development out in the main formation of region here in the Atlantic just towards the southwest of the Cape Verde Islands and it's going to continue to move off towards the west could impact the lesser Antilles as we go ahead into the weekend. So the chance of development pretty high with this region. We're seeing plenty of convection around it. We also have another area off towards the Western Caribbean, not so high for development, but still bringing some messy weather across parts of Jamaica, extending into Mexico, and eventually we'll move over the uh, Yucatan. But let's go back towards the east because this one looks a little bit more organized. You're actually seeing some decent outflow towards the north. Got the inflow and that circulation starting to wrap up here. Drier is north of that though. That's what's being indicated here on the satellite imagery and that's something to key in on as we watch this towards the west. How will this area interact with that dry air? So let's go ahead with our future cast. There's that first region. Then here's our next one. You have that dry air trying to wrap in, but I think it's fighting it pretty well which means we could see this wrap up and uh, possibly have a named storm before starting to move into the Eastern Caribbean. We still have that Saharan dust to deal with though, and already got that in portions of the uh, Caribbean here. You have that off towards the uh, north, and here's where our circulation is trying to develop. So I think it's gonna actually edge a line between some drier Saharan dust back here towards the west and the stuff coming in off of the coast of Africa. And, if it stays in there, it continues to stay in that moisture filled environment where sea surface temperatures as well are well over 80 degrees, which what you need for tropical cyclone development. Um, we could be looking at a, a pretty decent um, chance for development here and likely could be our next name storm, which would be called barrel. So where would this go eventually? Well, there's still a lot of questions. You have the Bermuda high back towards the north, so the west track is a high chance, but then once it starts to round that Bermuda high, some of the models and the long range guidance, which are highly uncertain, uh, diverge. Uh, some of it takes it off towards Yucatan. We've seen some guidance try to turn it towards the north. There's a lot of questions to be had this time of year. Of course, uh, there's that chance out here. But uh, we're always going to keep you posted and keep continue to monitor it. Also, the intensity, the GFS showing a pretty decent storm, but pressure much deeper than what the ECMWF, the European model, has been showing. Um, but yeah, uh, it, uh, it, there really is some differences here. It is July. Just to remember that the Gulf of Mexico out through the Caribbean and now into the Atlantic. It's no surprise to have a storm system starting to form out there as we wrap up June, heading into July. Just that time of year. So of course we're going to keep you posted here at First Coast News with our Talking Tropics website as well. Make sure you download that First Coast News app for latest information on what's happening out here in the Atlantic. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta.